everybody, it's the Beastly Gamer here, and I'm playing my PlayStation 4. I just got update 2.00, and I haven't installed it yet, but I want to view some of the details because I'm sure, like me, a lot of you guys want to know exactly what we can expect with this PlayStation 4 update. I'm pretty excited about it. So let's get into it, see what we get. Uh, the main features of update 2.0, these are the mains. Players in a, in a party can now use share play. Awesome. Uh, I'm guessing you have to join a party in order to do that, but from what I understand, now everybody with PlayStation 4, some games will require uh, PlayStation Plus, but now everyone with a PlayStation 4 will be able to play games together. And if you don't have the game, that's fine. Uh, you can also, using share play, uh, if you have a game that has local co-op, you can actually give the second controller to a friend, which is awesome. So it doesn't just, you know, allow people to take the control of the game. If you got a game that allows you to play with someone else locally, like Diablo or something like that, they can actually take that controller and play with you. Now, uh, the playtime has been limited to an hour, as far as I understand it, but you can immediately reset that timer and play again with whoever's in your party. So that's awesome. Video clips can now be uploaded to YouTube. Yay! Uh, I think that's awesome that they're uh, creating this system that, which allows you basically to become a YouTuber uh, just by having a PS4. With the uh, gallery and, uh, you know, they have basically Sony Vegas on this thing. You're able to uh, modify and tweak your videos and add effects and all that stuff on the PS4. Now you can upload it directly to YouTube. I think that's awesome. You can now set themes for home screens and function screens for each user. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like on my PS4, I got five different users. So now everybody can have their own unique look. I don't know exactly how much detail you can put into that, but I guess as time goes on, we'll see. You can now play music stored on a USB storage device. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. You know, a lot of people don't use the music on these video game consoles. I actually do. I like it. I've always used it on my PS3, uh, and uh, I was really shocked that they took a step back like that on the PS4. Other features in version 2.0, I'm not going to go through all of them because a lot of them are just minute, but I'll go through some of the share features. The following features have been added to the live from the PlayStation. You can now view broadcasts from the past, so you can see archive stuff in Twitch and Ustream. Broadcasts can now be filtered by language. You can now follow your favorite channels or broadcasters. Uh, let me see. Games has been added to a broadcast for each game. So now broadcasts for each game are displayed. You can just go by game. It's pretty cool. Twitch icons can now be displayed in comments. Uh, let me see the following settings. You can now display messages to spectators. You can now include a party voice chat and broadcasts. So, you know, you and your buddies all together and, and you're doing a live stream, everybody can be heard. It's pretty cool. Um, you can now adjust settings such as size, background, and effect of video content in the PlayStation camera. Awesome. So now you can, instead of a little tiny square with your face and you got to sit perfectly still, you can make that background as big as you want and have effects and all that. So that's going to be re really awesome. Uh, let me see. You can now trim your video clips in the picture gallery. Pretty cool. Now some settings they've changed. You can now set the length of time your controller will charge while the PS4 system is in rest mode. Pretty cool. Uh, let me see. What is that? Commands, voice operation. Okay, they've added some voice stuff. Uh, you know, voice commands, input devices. Uh, they they added some changes for the output devices to the headphones and stuff like that. Let me see. Sound screen. All right, you guys can read that. They've added a mouse. All right, cool. So you can actually use your mouse. So you can play. Hopefully, just play games with the mouse and and keyboard on the PS4 now. Other stuff. Names of players that you may know. Uh, can now be displayed in your friends list under what's new, which is all right, I guess. You can now record vo a voice message by hitting the triangle button uh, in the message screen. The layout of the party screen has been improved. The number of content items displayed in the content area of the home screen has been changed. Content items that are not displayed can be reviewed in the library. Pretty cool. I like that a lot because uh, I'm sitting on probably 30 games on the PS4 and, and for, in order for me to find what I really want you gotta scroll through this unending uh, mess it's a jumbled mess so I'm happy to see they, they've changed that the PlayStation button now appears in some notification messages you can view details about the message by hitting the PS button when the message is displayed in the upper left corner of the screen pretty cool when you connect a new device to your system you can uh, check the remaining battery charge in the system message 
that's displayed in the upper left corner of the screen. All right, this seems like it's going to be a pretty good update. Uh, there's a lot of changes here, and it seems like a lot of stuff that's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and update it, and I'll let you guys know what I think after I tinker around with it a little bit. Just hang with me. What's going on, everybody? So here I am. I've just rebooted my system, and uh, it's showing me a new icon that just popped up. My home screen popped up very briefly, and then it went to this immediately. Only 15 of your recently used content items are now displayed on the home screen and all of the content is now displayed in the library so I can go to the library and see all my stuff to display all of your content on the home screen turn off settings system limit number of content items to home screen I don't want to do that so 15 of my most recently used items now these stay here no matter what you'll never be able to get rid of video unlimited or music unlimited that's Sony's proprietary uh, video and, and music streaming service so all right so if you go into library you get a lot of stuff here which is pretty sweet yeah I think this will this will work out a lot better now you can go to the top and change the way that they are uh, set up recently used I probably prefer that Let's see what's the least used. I've never played Doki Doki Universe. I played this once. And uh, played the Destiny Beta very few times. But yeah, okay. So it gives you a nice new way to uh, look at the user interface of the PS4. Alright. Yeah, I like that. So let's step back and take a look at some of these other features. All right, so we're going to go into the party menu. Oh, okay, we got a new icon. In a party, you can chat with others and use features such as share play to play games with those players. When you're in a party, you can enjoy voice chat and text chat with other players in the party. You can also continue chatting while playing a game. If you start share play, another player in the party can play the game as you or play a game with you. To start share play, select share play on the party screen. All right, so let's just see. I want to start a new party. Keep that open. Now I'm guessing that we will see, yeah, right there, share play. So they completely changed the way that the uh, party screen looks. Normally on the left side you'd have invite players and leave the party chat and settings and things of that nature. Now they have invite, party settings, other parties, and share play. So I'm going to just go into share play. What is SharePlay? Okay, using SharePlay, two players in a party can play a game as if they are in the same room. Awesome. To use SharePlay, you can start it as a host or you can join it as a visitor. The visitor can see the host game screen and play as the host. If the game supports a local multiplayer, a host and visitor can play the game together, which is awesome. So there's a lot of PS4 games that allow you to play local multiplayer. And now, if you got a friend in your party, they can play that with you. I do believe that this feature does require the player, the visitor, to have PlayStation Plus. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that is the case. That's at least what I heard. So I don't have anybody in my party right now. I'm not going to invite anyone, but I just wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to see. All right, let's back out and see some of these other features. I'm going to now. All right, now we're going to go on in and change the theme. Sound and screen. All right, here we go. Themes. So if you want to make a theme, you're going to go into settings. You're going to go down to themes. Click on the themes icon. And what it appears is you can just change the color at this point. What color best suits you? That's pretty. That's pretty sweet there. I think I want to ride. I think I want to ride with this here. I want to ride with the red. Now that does look pretty nice. Let's go to the PlayStation Store and see what new themes are available. Okay, they have nothing available. So right now, the theme basically allows you to just change your background color, which is pretty much what they specified before. All right. 
And so right now, that's how you change the theme.